Welcome to Wikipedia for Beginners. In this video, we'll look at adding info boxes to articles on Wikipedia that pull information from Wikidata. An info box is a box with basic information on the subject of a Wikipedia article. For example, there's one in this Wikipedia article. The info box is on the right hand side of the page and includes their name, date of birth, and some other information. In our previous video, we looked at info boxes and how to add those to Wikipedia. And in this video, we'll look at something slightly more advanced where we'll automatically fill the info box using Wikidata. Firstly, what's Wikidata? We do have a long introduction to Wikidata on our channel, but basically it's an open database filled with metadata. Think of it like a version of Wikipedia, but for machines to read. Each Wikipedia article should be linked to a Wikidata page. So let's take a look. On Wikipedia, click Tools, then click Wikidata item. This will take you to the relevant Wikidata page. Every item on Wikidata has a QID, which is the number associated with it. You can see that at the top of the page. Going down, we can see statements where the item is described. This item is for the Australian composer Keith Humble, and he's a human, he's male, and further down we can see his occupation is listed as composer. Just like on Wikipedia, this can all be edited, added to, and improved. If you're interested in learning more about this, please look at our introduction to Wikidata video. Each of the statements such as instance of or date of birth has a property ID. You can see them by clicking on one. Date of birth is P569, for example. We'll use these in our info boxes on Wikipedia. So let's go back to the Wikipedia page now and add an info box. This page already has an info box that I added in the previous video, so I'll remove it for this demonstration. To add an info box, first click on Edit to start editing the Wikipedia article. For this tutorial, we're using the visual editor. If your screen doesn't look like this, you might be in the source editor. You can click on the pencil icon to change between these two editors if needed. Now, click your mouse cursor near the top of the article. This will make sure the info box is at the top of the page and not floating in the middle of nowhere. Click on Insert and then click Templates. A box should pop up. Type Info Box and then we need to decide what type of info box we want to use. There's the general info box person, but we can be more specific. Because this Wikipedia page is about a musician, type Info Box Musical Artist. Click on the correct link and this box should pop up. You can now start inserting all of the information you want to add. Things like date of birth are useful, and we can add that automatically with Wikidata using this code. If it's difficult to read, check the video description for more information. You can see it says statements, and then P569. This means the code will pull the statement data from Wikidata linked to this Wikipedia page, so it will be the same as we saw on the Keith Humble Wikidata page. P569 means date of birth, so it will put his date of birth from there and display it in the info box. There's also P570 for the date of death. What else can we add? Well, it depends on what's available in this info box and what is already on Wikidata, but occupation can be added in. Just make the property P106 and that should match what is on Wikidata. So let's see how this looks. Click insert and now the info box should display. As you can see, it has taken the information we wanted from Wikidata, and as the information changes on Wikidata, it will be updated on Wikipedia too. This is perhaps not the best use of this tool though, as things like date of birth and death are unlikely to change. What would be more useful here is to add something that's missing. So currently there's no image on this article. There's no photo of Keith Humble on Wikidata or Wikipedia. So while we're still in the editing mode, if we double click on the info box or click edit, we can add something like this. P18 is for an image, and by adding this in, whenever an image is added to Keith's Wikidata page, it will automatically be added to his Wikipedia page too. Let's click Publish Changes to save the work that's been done. Add a description and click Publish Changes. The info box looks good. 
And remember how I said it would update automatically if an image was ever added to Wikidata? Well, one has recently been added, and now we can refresh the Wikipedia page, and there we go. The image automatically appeared, with no extra work needed. Of course, this is just one example of how you could use Wikidata to keep Wikipedia up to date. As mentioned, it doesn't make sense to take date of birth or date of death information from Wikidata, because this information is unlikely to change, so we can just include this as text. But it could be useful on a Wikipedia page about cities to keep census or population data updated, or in cases like adding an image where we want missing content to appear automatically on Wikipedia from Wikidata. There has been some discussion about how and when to use Wikidata on Wikipedia, so please check the video description for more information on that.